What's up, you guys? Let's get that right into a quick message, okay? All right, for somebody in particular, this may be about someone named Tom or Tom. This could be somebody you know. But AWL is when somebody says some out-of-pocket shit, right? And that was clarified by this, which you all know is like the chaos, fighting, conflict. Somebody's always getting themselves in trouble with their mouth, okay? Tell me about this. This could be some of your family members or this could be somebody... This could have even been you. I mean, for somebody here, you could be arguing with your family, but this could also be your community, okay? Tell me, thank you. Something come a full circle for your family or your community. Let's find out some more about this. Port. I know that means something for you. Entity removal. This could be just your community and saying some out of pocket shit. Oh, somebody, I don't know if this is for somebody listening. You may not realize that you need to listen to an entity removal because you could be saying some out of pocket shit. I'll get some initials. Father. I don't know if this is a priest. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is this a priest? No. This, this person is a father and they cause nothing but chaos and destruction. I have Andrew, Anthony, William, Paul, Len, Leo. Um, give me some letters for this, these, this father or these names of these fathers that need to listen to an entity removal because they have attachments to them on them. Who is this, please? Who are these people? Please give me three letters or three or a few names. J or E. This could be Jen. P, D. This could be a cop. Jerry. Jesse. E, D, H. Harry. Rhonda. E, J, P, D, H, R. This could be Jerry Rhodes. Hold on a second. Am I wrong here? Uh, Jerry Rhodes needs to listen to an entity removal thing. Yeah, tell me the truth. Um, this person is not a real police officer, though. I feel like this person, this could even, is this like Port Authority or something like that? Is this an actual cop? No, is this like Port Authority? Yeah, tell me the truth. The badge is not real for that either. So maybe that's another thing. Oh, this, see, with the port thing, with the port authority, isn't that what packages like cargo come in, in Bri? The port authority? Is that what that port authority? So th maybe this has something to do with somebody being a fake, having a fake badge so that, like, drugs and stuff can come in. Am I wrong? Yeah. So that would be Jerry Rhodes. And so he's going to have a lot of information. Okay, this person... This person could be fighting with their family. This person could be the kind of person that always says shit that's out of pocket. They could be fighting with their family. Their family doesn't want anything to do with them. Right? Am I wrong here? Okay. This would be like fentanyl coming in in large doses. Like somebody has a fake badge for that. Uh, let's find out what else. Interesting survey i mean i mean i that like he surveys things I, light skin so this could be a light skin black or they just white light skin whatever whatever this is but somebody either it just lets things go right ceo excuse me a true spirit this part is this person say that they're a CEO of something and they're not? Like, tell me that they don't have, because I'm, I'm wondering this. How many different areas of our world were these traffickers and illegal immigrants going to be placed, right? We know it's the judicial system, hospitals, okay? We know that it's doctors, nurses, how disgusting it's getting. But I never actually thought about the port authority. <sighs> Like, who's behind all of this, right? Like, there's got to be just a few. It, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing it's the elites even know about this, though. Do, do, the, do the ones running shit behind the scenes, do they, 
appreciate the fact that this was going on. No. So this would be the kind of thing, the kind of thing where you have these people. Hold on a second. I got to ask a question about this cat outside. I'll be right back. Okay. So Nathaniel Fick is or was CEO, U.S. Ambassador at Large for Cyberspace and Digital Policy. This is a front. Xavier, this is a front. There's trafficking going on with this. Tell me the truth. Is that whole thing with the cyber, is that, is that legit? It's somewhat legit and so, but right, they're using that to do other shit, right? So they, this person, Nathaniel Fick, needs to be looked at. And whatever this company is, I mean, it's the U.S. Department of State, though. Oh, it's this, okay. Fick was CEO of the Center for a New American Security. Well, you shot the bed, sir. All right, what is this? Alchemist in reverse. So this person messes with that bullshit, too. I mean, th is, this, uh, is this still Nathaniel Fick? Is this like black magic cult spell work? Yeah. So that's what's going to happen with this dingbat. Let me see if they want me to get any anything else here about this cat. Nasty drunk. I'm guessing this is this Nathaniel Fick guy. Aquarius. What is this? They see you outside. They think that you're prey. You couldn't be... <laughs> okay, you come get it then. Okay, you see how this prey gets down. <laughs> Good. You gonna be praying. Tell me... Tell me more about this situation, please. I don't know if the nasty drunk sees you outside and thinks that you're prey liberator, but these are just tyrannical people. Yeah, and the low attribute, that's what this is. These are these are tyrants. Let me get a name for the person who sees you outside and thinks that you're prey because they're a dingbat. Hold on. Tamika, there's someone named Dylan Mopa. Uh, this person sees you outside. I guess, I don't know if you know that you're prey for this person or whoever that these people are that he's connected to you may not even realize this does this person have a nasty face like a mean face like they look drunk and, and mad all day do you know what a beautiful soul you are is this for you tamika hmm? that your mom didn't want you neither join the club okay they see you outside, so some you're a target for some people. Yeah, are you a chosen one, Tamika? Repairs or, yeah, don't trust anybody that wants to come into your home or where you live and say that they, they need to fix something. Hold on a second. She's a chosen one. I'll be right back. All right, so Tamika is a chosen one. You are a beautiful soul. You, probably along with all of us other chosen ones, your mom didn't really want you. Oh, well. Her laws, bitch. Um, you probably had a narcissistic mother. Possibly a father as well. All right. It's, you know, it's the same shit with all of us. Anyway. We all we were the rebellious ones, so they like to say. We're just the ones that like like answers. We see shit for what it really is, and we have no problem saying it, too. So if that means we're rebellious, well, then God damn it. Um, be rebellious my whole entire life and six times on Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this, please. You're hanging around murderers. Can't be found. Who? Oh, this is what they were planning. We don't know where Tamika is. The bitch, I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here, motherfuckers. That's what they were going to say. We don't know where she's at. We don't. And then what? So tell me, all these people all together finished. Yeah, they're finished. This is finished now. Um, yeah, that's it. Can't be found. We don't know what happened. You know what I mean? Now that this shit is public, I feel like this shit is finished now. Right? You got some punk ass fucking friends, girl. Who is this? Yep. You're a blessing to this world. You're not going nowhere. That's exactly what this is. This is a blessing, you you know, and this is the world. That's what this is. You're a good person. You're a humanitarian. You need to stay that person. 
and cut out people who don't care about you or who don't appreciate what you bring to the table. Whether it's family, don't matter who it is. Yeah, and stay to yourself, Virgo energy. I don't know if you are a Virgo, but this is just like you you need to stay to yourself, isolate yourself, and then until you realize your worth in a situation and that these people, anybody that comes into your life, what a blessing it is. Okay? But they're never going to tell you this because they don't want you to know this. Are they attacking you with electronic harassment? Yeah? Okay. Do you feel real hot sometimes? Like you get real hot and shit like that? If you feel like that, it's that these people are also bringing these things around you. These would be your own peeps. Yeah. Did you tell them to get the refund yet? Because you're not going nowhere? Did you remember to say that shit? These people are going to wind up going away. Yeah. That's what they're sending. I feel like you could, when you're, I don't know if like when you're by yourself, you feel hot or something like that. Yeah. I don't know if these people, um, you're going to have to move away from these people that have unhealthy attachments to money as well. Because when you're around some people that have that or even addictions, the shit they will do for money. Valid. Tell me more. Yeah, these people that are struggling with money, you're going to have to stay away from these people because it, it's a whole other level of like, yeah, I'm, I'm having problems paying my bills and, you know, I don't want to take the loss and I'm definitely not going to take accountability for why the fuck I'm where I'm at, you know. So let me just go set someone else up to be killed. Like the laziness, uh, the laziness in people. I never thought that I'd say like people can't even kill right. Divorce. So is somebody that you're you're divorcing behind this? Celibate. You need to divorce. Be celibate. I don't know what's up, but your birth certificate. Did somebody was somebody trying to get your copy of your birth certificate? Was it? Yep. Probably to like forge your signature or use your information. This this could be uh, to get a will, acting like you created a will and you left something. Are you are you married? Yeah. Uh, you, whoever you're married to, you should be divorcing this motherfucker, okay? Um, and stay celibate, like your girl here. Been celibate for like, I don't know, what is it, four years, three years, three years now, whatever, something like that. Um, lie, just word lie just came out. <laughs> Tell me the truth, spirit. Lynn? You with somebody named Lynn? This motherfucker is not for you. <laughs> okay? You need to cut this part. Beep! You need to cut this person out of your life. And save that shit for somebody. And I'm going to tell you something. Okay? When you start saving that shit, 13, 13, for, you're going to realize that you don't really care about that shit anymore. Okay? Because you have some kind of big task if you want to call it that mission that you, you're supposed to be doing something. Yeah, look, this person who you're in a relationship with is working together with who? Look, page of wands. In reverse. Somebody got a sex addiction? I feel like somebody got a whole sex addiction too. Well, that's what narcissists do. They're just addictions on foot. They got gambling addiction, drug addiction, gossiping addiction, shopping addiction, fucking jaw flapping addiction, theft addiction, just, just to stealing shit. They're just one big addiction. Tell me more about this. One or more tats. So I guess, you know, not that you really need the confirmation, but this person's going downhill and they'll take you. Ancient spells breaking them to betrayal poverty so this person is destined for this whoever this person is that you're married to that you need to cut this person out and divorce them because their intentions for you are no good um this person is destined his bloodline is destined for mental illness poverty just you know look taking accountability somebody's being forced to do this now makes mistakes in life, right? This person doesn't ever take accountability. If this is the type of person that when you met them, they talk about their exes as if they were the perfect man, you know, or if this is a woman for you guys, whatever this is, this is somebody that always talks about what the other people did. 
Like, they're you never at fault. Beware of people like this. What is this? Yeah, I feel like you're just very skilled and talented. This person is skilled and talented at putting people uh, in lack. Okay, so I don't know what your skill and talented is, but this person's skill and talent is like, let me just suck somebody dry of their energy, their money, everything like that. And then once shit goes bad, I'm off. I'm out. I take off and I go find my next prospect. That's what this person is. So you're going, I mean, you don't have to, I'm not saying you're going to, but this is what your ancestors are saying. This person, let me ask something first. Yeah, this person is a trafficker. Did you know that you married someone that's connected to traffic? I don't feel like you would have. You're not going to be. You're welcome. We're not going nowhere. Love you, Philly 